Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com coming at you with another Android app review. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about an app, it's actually a widget called Taggy, which allows you to uh, set up custom widgets on your home screen, uh, which basically uh, launches either apps or into various settings on your phone or uh, to direct call people. And uh, it does that by way of text tags, hence the name tag. Um, it's fairly customizable as far as uh, what, uh, what you want in each widget and what you don't want, as well as different colors you can use for the labels. Um, there are some improvements I think that could be made, and I'll talk about those uh, when I'm showing you the app. But uh, for now, let's, let's just jump on it, uh, jump on my phone, and I'll uh, uh, show you what it looks like and how it works and the various settings and things. So this is my, uh, one of my home screens with two taggy widgets. Uh, the one on the bottom is a taggy settings widget. So these are all shortcuts to launch into various settings on my phone. And then the other one is a uh, taggy app widget where I've added all the apps that have to do with uh, the camera or uh, photo editing, uh, anything that has to do with photos, I've added into that. Now as you can see, some of these are bigger and some of these are smaller. What happens when you, uh, you, it's in settings, you can set it to do this or not, but I think this is one of the main cool things about the app, is that uh, you can set it so that the more you use a tab, that tab starts to get bigger. Um, you can also set it so that the more you use a tab, the, the color starts to change a little bit. And I think that's great because that way the ones you use the most uh, get bigger and are quicker to access. The ones you don't use that much, you don't want them to take up as much space. You don't need as quick access to them because you're not using them as much. Um, so, and that is adjustable, as you'll see in a second. But uh, that's kind of one of the cool features about it. Also help you identify, you know, maybe some apps you have that you're not really using that much. Because let's face it, we all put a ton of apps on our phone and then end up only using 20% of them. So this is a good way to help you kind of realize, hey, wait a second, I never use that app. Um, why is it on there? Or if you don't hardly ever use it, you don't want it taking up a lot of space. And you can fit so much more uh, in this widget than what you would fit just using your standard icons uh, on your desktop or on the, on the home screen. So if you click the little box that takes you into the settings. So I click the little box there and go into settings and you'll see how this works. It allows you to choose apps. You can change it. So even though I've already set this widget up, I could go into settings and I could add additional apps or take away apps from it. List all my apps and you just click the ones you want on there. Um, Add newly installed apps to this widget automatically, so that it'll add it so that you can include them. Uh, tag color, so you get to choose your own color. So I've chosen this as my tag color. Tag background, you get to choose your own background and the alpha level of the background. Uh, resize tags based on their click frequency. That's the feature that I said is I think that's one of the coolest features about it is to be that it resizes. Um, adjust tags color based on click frequency. I have that. So you'll see the ones that I click more often, they're bigger and they're also a little bit lighter. And then randomize tag. If you randomize tag, <coughs> excuse me, if you randomize the tags, that just uh, initially it'll set up so that they're all various shapes, uh, not shapes, but various sizes. Um, if you don't click that, which I didn't, then when I initially set it up, they were all the same size. And only as I, as I touch them do they get bigger. Um, and then if you make changes, you click the update widget button on the bottom and then it'll update the widget. And you might be able to see there, it's a 10 day free trial. So 10 day free trial and then after that you have to uh, download a separate app that's an unlocker um, that unlocks uh, for you to be able to use it permanently. Um, and if you go into the settings, for the, the settings app, and this is an add-on, it's a free add-on called uh, Taggy Settings, and you add that on and that allows you to set up widget for settings as well. And same thing, you choose what settings you want to include, you choose the tag color, the background, um, etc, etc. Um, now I will say, uh, one of the things that I think would be cool uh, is if, you can see how these are all very much in a straight line, um, which some people would prefer that. 
But you know me, I like options for customization. I think they would be cooler if they were kind of random. So instead of everything being in a straight line, of course you want everything to be, we read horizontally, so we want it to be like that. But if they were kind of offset in different ways, so it kind of looked like someone kind of moved them around a little bit and scattered them around. Um, and if they filled, you know, filled the empty spots, they're always kind of centered like this. Um, yeah, I think that would be cool. If it was a little bit more randomized, that would be more my style. And it gives it a little bit more of an artistic flair, I think. Also, if you could choose to have various uh, colors. So instead of just one color for the text and one color for the background, if you could, like, say, choose, you know, up to three different colors for the background and maybe up to three different colors for the text. Or maybe you could choose uh, uh, one color for the text to start at and then another color for it to change to uh, as, it, as it's been tapped more frequently and a third color for it to change to when it's the one that's been touched, you know, tapped the most. So that's, that's just a couple of small things I think that they could do to improve the app. But it is a fairly new app, so there's a good chance that they may implement some of these things. Um, right now I'm going to show you, uh, well first let me show you what happens when you launch. Like if you click uh, Pixel or Matic then it just launches. It's very quick as far as launching goes. So that's great. And if I were to click that a bunch of times, uh, eventually it's going to start getting bigger because the more you click on something, the bigger it gets. It's already, you probably already see, it's already getting a little bit bigger. So bigger now than it was to begin with. Uh, and that's, that's, that's what's, you know, that's the cool feature of it. Um, with settings, same thing. These just go right into your settings. So like manage apps, it takes you right into your app manager inside your Android system. And we're not going to wait for all my apps to my apps to load because it takes too long. Uh, but let's let me show you how you set one of these up. I'm going to remove this one and then create a new one. Long press as usual. Choose widget. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. I was sick this past weekend, uh, but I'm much better now. You just might hear I'm a little nasally because I have a stuffy nose. So here you go. Uh, these are the different sizes you can have, um, and these are the options. You can have uh, apps, you can have bookmarks, you can have contacts, and you can have settings. So let's do a contacts. Let's do a 4x2 contacts. So as you see, it's going to load all my contacts. It's going to take forever because there's 600 contacts in there. I don't know why. That's that's because of Facebook. That's what that is. I don't have 600 people who I actually am in contact with. So that might be a nice feature if they made it so that you could designate what uh, contact list to pull from because I would have it pulled just from uh, the quote unquote my contacts which are contacts that you've actually included in your, in your phone because obviously I don't need all these Facebook contact people. Um, so then you would go through and choose your contacts. Yeah, so these are pulling like everybody I've ever known. Um, let's see. Let's just randomly pull a couple. So many of these are just Facebook people. I don't actually have their phone, their information. Um, let's see. If I can get down to the T's, then we'll get to my my fake person that I made up. Yeah, so definitely it would be better if they made it so that you uh, you could choose to just use the contacts that are part of my contacts in your phone system. Then you choose your tag color. Let's see. Let's make it that color, whatever that is. And then you choose your tag background. Let's do black. Let's make it kind of smoky. And then I got resize on frequency. And let's go ahead and randomize the tags just so you can see what that looks like. And then you're going to create the widget. Let's 
It's going to ask us, this is just ADW, this is not part of the widget, this is part of my home screen. It's going to ask me how I want it to be. And as you can see, it added that widget. It randomized the size of things because uh, I clicked to do that. So if you click that to begin with, it'll automatically start out with some big and some small, and then it will adjust the sizes as you use them. Um, I think it's better to start out with all of them the same size and let it adjust the ones that use the most bigger, but it's there. And if you click on that, it's not a direct call. I mistakenly thought it was a direct call, um, but it's not. It just opens the actual, opens the person in your contact. So that would be another feature request I would put in there to have the option to have a direct call widget and then the option to have a direct, uh, direct text widget. Um, because I think that would be a, a better way to, to better utilization of the widget so that you could quickly call someone or quickly text someone as opposed to just opening up their uh, uh, contact information. So like I said, it's a fairly new app. There is definitely room for improvement and I'm sure over time uh, they will begin to implement some of these things and just keep improving the app. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a pretty cool app and uh, that's, uh, that's basically everything there is to it and uh, how it works and if it's something you think you might like uh, to use on your home screen then go ahead and uh, download it and give it a try because it is a 10 day free trial. This is the app Taggy, T-A-G-U-I. Um, it is available for download on the Android market. Uh, you get a free uh, trial automatically. I believe it's a seven day, uh, one week trial. And then uh, if you want to keep it, then you uh, in app purchase. Um, anyway, uh, as I mentioned, uh, as I was going through it, there are some things I think that they can do to improve it, but it is a fairly new app. So there's a good chance that uh, those things will show up in the future, especially if they watch my review, because I'm giving them tips. Anyway, uh, it's, it's good because, you know, why do we have Android phones? Or what's so great about Android is the fact that each Android phone looks different. We can all have the exact same phone, but yet when you go into the uh, home screen or, you know, whatever you go into, it's set up the way I want it, the way you want it. And so this is just another one of those apps that allows you to set up, you know, quick launching to apps or to settings or to call people in a way that's distinctively you. And that's what's great about Android. Because if you look at your friend's iPhones, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. They all have the exact same number of rows with the exact same little square icons or the exact same little folder icons, and that's pretty much it. So anyway, um, that's Taggy. Uh, you do get to try it out free for a week, so it's worth giving it a try. If you like it, you can uh, purchase it in app. Anyway, until next time, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com reminding you to like this video if you like it. You thought I was going to get to the tagline. Not yet. Or subscribe to my videos if uh, you want to see when I uh, add new videos, which I'm doing on a regular basis. And of course, as always, reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.